This is a teddy bear tutorial. In the community section tab, I asked you if you would be interested on my newborn photography that I made for my son. And you said actually yes, that you are interested and I got more than 50 likes. So today we have Lightroom tutorial tips for newborn photography with the teddy bear and Mauros films using the Sony a7 III and the Sony a6400. First of all, you will need a newborn baby. Check. Secondly, you need a place and some fluffy decoration. My new living room floor with a great style ottocento for the background. For the decoration, I got a great big teddy bear. But you can use whatever you want, I am just showing you my ideas. Before starting with the photo shoot, you have to do something really important. Change the baby diapers and wear your child with something that you prepare for the shoot. This is not what he was wearing, I forgot to take the BTS shots. Breastfeed it with a full load so he gets knocked down and really sleepy. Prepare your gear to be ready to shoot, sometimes you will have a little time to do it if your baby is nervous. We actually made these pictures in two separate shoots throughout the day. The big teddy bear made a great option to us to make him feel some protection and encircled just like the mother's belly. Use natural light if possible for this shoot, actually I had a little aperture fill light to lift up a little the shadows from the right side. Shoot with a fast lens just like my Samyang 35mm f1.4 and my Zeiss 55 f1.8, it will give you that great creamy background and autofocus thing. After the shoot, import your pictures in Lightroom and don't remember to shoot in RAW, it will give you more flexibility in post. And this is the part where it gets really easy. The secret is to use a built-in standard preset called Aged Photo in the Creative Preset tab of Lightroom. It will give you some great warm tones with soft rollout between colors. The image is tweaked with the preset lifting up the whites, lowering the blacks, lowering the vibrance and saturation. Now we are ready to go to the right side of the adjustments. My method is always to lower the highlights, here actually 100%, and lift up the shadows 100%. Trust me, the Sony a7 III can hold this type of tweaks pretty well. The Sony a6400 will go actually about 70% of highlights shadow move, don't go over that. Let's make the footage just a little sharper and mask it all around 30% to get rid of the rough sharpening effect. With the luminance in noise reduction we will add a great balance soft touch. In the end, put a vignette to center the point of interest of the subject. And that's it, nothing else, nothing more. You can actually apply this preset to all your photo shoot of the day. They should really look good. Remember, it's all about the aged preset that gives the glow. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video, and see you on my next one.